Um, and I don't know what this means, but I like the uh, I like the title. The <laughs> biggest fear of Microsoft enthusiasts just yeah. came true. I'm referring, of course, to the iPad Pro app. Uh, I'm sorry, the iPro pad advertisement. I think there are four new ones. Um, oh. Three of them highlight features that are unique to the iPhone, uh, iPad Pro. One of them mentions Microsoft Word. <laughs> and so <laughs> this is kind of tough for the Microsoft enthusiast because when Microsoft first announced uh, Office for iPhone, you know, several years ago now, and then subsequently has made versions for the iPad and the iPad Pro as well. And the iPad Pro version supports features like Apple Pen supports. So you can write documents and stuff. This is a tough one for the Microsoft guy, right? I mean, and now that Apple is using that fact against Microsoft in a way, right, against the PC, essentially, um, this is the thing we were all kind of worried about, right? And and the people who are kind of the diehard, hard, I'm sorry, diehard Microsoft types, uh, this is what they've been complaining about all along, you know, that they, they kind of long for the days of the, if not Windows only, then Windows first, Windows best kind of strategy. Um, and... This is what happens when you put your best features on other platforms, too. Um, it negates the differentiation you might have on your own platform. Ed Bott was giving those ads a hard time uh, on uh, Twit this week because mm -hmm. apparently they, they hired actors instead of the actual tweet people. They, they, you got a yeah. guy holding up his tweet. <laughs> Sure. Uh, and then, uh, Leo, actually, I can explain that. Um, if Microsoft made that ad, they would use the real people. Yeah. But because Apple made it, those people are not pretty <laughs> enough. No, or diverse enough. <laughs> so, yeah. so right. they've uh, diversified them. They kept the tweet, but changed sure. the uh, the profile picture. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, you know, it makes sense. You're going to hire actors uh, to do it, but uh, no, I, I have look. I, I, the ads are interesting on two levels, aside from what I just mentioned. Uh, one is that they hearken back to those I'm a Mac ads, right? Which, yeah, that's what he said, um, too, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they clearly do. But I, I, I will say, having watched them, um, I don't get the same vibe I got from I'm a Mac, I'm a PC, because what they're saying is basically true. Right? Like, in other words, you could come up with ads that would say, well, yeah, but, you know, th this is also true of the PC where it's better. But the things they're bringing up are true. I mean, I, the big problem I had with the I'm a Mac, I'm a PC ads is a lot of those things were complete baloney. Like, right. they were just really um, working off of the preconceived notions that people have about Macs or PCs when, in fact, a lot of that stuff wasn't even true. And I, I, I had a big problem with that kind of false advertising aspect of it. But I look at these ads, and, you know, honestly, they're, they're, they're nice. They're fine. They're selling a product. It's fine. I mean, they're, they're, I don't, they're not objectionable in any way.